For high dynamic HDR, there are three factors to creating stunning images. Firstly, there's high resolution. Secondly, there is maximizing the dynamic range to produce specular highlights and smooth blacks to the image. Thirdly, there is wide color gamut to produce highly colorful and realistic images. In this video, we're going to look at the new tools for monitoring wide color gamut available within the Telestream Prism, the latest generation of waveform monitor for hybrid media applications for SDI and IP monitoring of video and audio signals. While the detail of the image is contained within the Luma signal, the chroma information brings the image to life, and it is important to ensure the correct color fidelity within the image. We have key colors like blue sky and green grass that are familiar to us, and when we change these colors to different hues and saturations, like making the sky purple and the green grass red, then we might believe we're on a different planet and not on Earth. So getting the color correct within the image is important. When discussing color, we at some point will eventually discuss the 1931 CIE chart, which shows all the possible colors the human eye can perceive, bounded by its distinctive horseshoe shape. Over the years, television systems have limited the range of colors that are capable of being reproduced. The HD Color Images Standardized in ITU 709 defines the triangle shape that occupies about 33% of the entire CIE horseshoe shape. For wider color gamut that is standardized in ITU 2020, this has a larger triangle that occupies 63% of the CIE chart. However, many current displays are not capable of producing this full range, and therefore some delivery specifications require grading of the content to DCI P3 that occupies 44% of the CIE chart. Therefore, when we grade in 2020 color space, we should constrain the color within the DCI P3 triangle. Telestream provides the CIE chart display within PRISM that has three graticules for 2020, P3 and 709 shown within the display. The user should correctly set up their colorimetry for the material within the input configuration for either 709 or 2020 color space. Here we have a rainbow test pattern that contains all the RGB colors in increasing saturation, with levels from black to white that fills the CIE chart. The CIE chart can be used in conjunction with the traditional vector display or with the Telestream diamond display to assist in adjustment of color for your program material. While producing content in 2020 color space, that is constrained to a P3 triangle, it can be difficult to determine which area of the image are outside the required range. So Telestream has created a false color overlay for gamut within the prism picture display. Simply select either outside 709 or outside P3 to show the regions within the image that fall outside this specified gamut limit. This allows the operator to easily see which regions of the image need to be adjusted in order to fall within the gamut limits. The Telestream Prism provides a useful toolset for monitoring your wide color gamut content, from the traditional vector display to the diamond display, to the CIE chart and the new false color gamut display. For more information, or to arrange a demonstration, please contact your local Telestream sales representative.